Hi everybody, it is still March 11, 2019. Sorry for the noise. Um, I want to thank my subscriber for sending this along and if any of my subscribers have purchased food from Wise Food, then you might want to listen to this video. Uh, you might want to read this article, Wise Food Storage Turns Over Purchase Records to Government as Part of Shocking Class Action Lawsuit. Wise made misrepresentations and omitted material information about how long its long-term food kits would last and how many people they would feed. Not only did Wise Company allegedly mislead consumers, about the nutritional content of their products, it appears that the company handed over highly confidential consumer data to the government not once but twice during the proceedings. So in the lawsuit claims, it states, if the consumer in fact eats the number of prescribed servings each day necessary to make the food kits last for the advertised period of time, the consumer will effectively starve or suffer adverse health effects. The food kits provide drastically fewer calories and nutrients than are needed to adequately sustain adults for the advertised periods of time. Attempts to survive on one of its long-term food kits for the specified period of time faces serious physical and mental health risks including dehydration, hypothermia, hypotension, impaired renal and liver function, depression, and impaired cognition. Wow. Some of the kits sold have an average as low as 453 calories per day, a paltry amount of food by any measure, and certainly not enough to sustain an individual in the kind of emergency situation for which wise company foods are marketed. 99,405 purchase records have been handed over to the government. And I will link below to everything. Welcome to the Miller versus Wise Company settlement website. Um, if you purchased a long-term food kit from Wise Company during the period February 15, 2013 through December 31, 2017, you could receive money from a proposed class action settlement. Wise, any company that settles, they want to hide information. They settle because there's evidence of wrongdoing. So, while Wise apparently is saying they did not do anything but they're settling, and if the judge accepts the settlement, then those who have purchased food from Wise in between that time period, um, you are to um, submit a timely and complete claim form, and you'll get your money back. Um, but, you know, any settlement, sorry, you don't get to say we did nothing wrong, but we're settling. And we're going to pay attorney fees for the plaintiffs, as well as our attorney fees, which for Wise will come to over six hundred thousand uh, dollars. Yeah, settlements are an admission of wrongdoing. So I will link below to this and yeah, we've got a lot of lying. Americans, you know, preppers, you bought that food because you wanted to, you know, survive a shit hits the fan uh, event. Well, you think you're buying it from a reputable company? Think again. It's really hard to find trustworthy Americans. All right. Links are below. Ciao.